Hi, this is Chris Wall at The Wall Network, and today I'm going to talk about the VCAP5 DCA study sheet that's available on my website. So for those that don't know, the VCAP is an acronym for the VMware Certified Advanced Professional, and DCA is Data Center Administration. This is an exam that kind of builds upon what you've already learned in the VCP or the VMware Certified Professional, specifically towards a live lab environment in which you're tested on a number of objectives. The goal is to kind of test you on a bunch of different real-world administrative tasks that might be necessary in a data center. Now, there's lots of different study guides out there and ways that you can help prepare for the exam, but what I've got is a study sheet, and specifically the study sheet allows you to kind of go through the blueprint of the VCAP 5 DCA exam and kind of make note of what you've learned both from a command line perspective, doing in your live lab, etc. So in front of you, I've got the page on my website where you can download it, and I'll make sure to have a link in the comments as well. In fact, the uh, download is right here. It says click here to download the VCAP 5 DCA study sheet. And I do want to make note, this is just a guide to help you study. Uh, none of this was provided by VMware. It's not endorsed by VMware. It's just something that uh, specifically my wife Jennifer has done, uh, and we're providing to help people study for the exam. Uh, so you click on that link. Uh, you'll, it'll download a PDF file. I'll go ahead and open it up. And this is actually a editable PDF in that the whole thing can be saved and you can check boxes as you go. So basically it starts off here with some instructions letting you know that there's four kind of indicators for each section and objective. Uh, read means that you've read the material, you kind of understand at a, you know, from a reading perspective what's going to be required of you and you have a good idea just as you're, as you're reading along what might be some examples that you'll be tested upon. And lab means that you've actually taken this objective and reproduced it in a lab environment, and, you, and you've kind of done it in a more real-world setting. Because this is important, because that's how the test is going to be. There's no multiple choice in the exam. It's all actual lab activities in a real VMware vSphere environment. CLI denotes that you've actually taken the objective and ran it through the command line version of kind of the results. An example there, maybe you have to mask a path for a LUN and you might have actually run the ESX CLI command to, to mask that path. So that would be covered in a CLI example. GUI, or graphical user interface, denotes that you've done this throughout the vSphere client. So you've launched the client, and perhaps the objective has you adding a data store uh, or changing some multipathing. You've gone in through the GUI, you've made that change so that you understand it from a GUI perspective. Not everything's going to have both a command line interface and graphical user interface way of completing the objective. But you can track that and try to figure out if there is one and denote that you've learned it. So as you go through the different sections, the, the very first page has a list of all the sec sections and objectives, what page they're on, and it's all clickable, so I could click to section three. It takes you right to section three. The, basically the way it's broken out is the yellow area denotes the major section header, so all the objectives for section three are covered in this yellow area. And then each objective itself, so 3.1, tune and optimize vSphere performance. If I scroll up just a little bit, you'll see here's the headers. So perhaps uh, for objective 3.1, this identify appropriate BIOS and firmware settings. Maybe I've, I've read information on that, and then I went through a command line uh, way of, of exploring the BIOS settings and the firmware settings. Uh, maybe I've done it in my lab. So that you try to check as many of these boxes as possible. When you get done with the objective, uh, after you complete, you know, maybe you've read over all these different materials, etc. I'll click these here. Then you can go ahead and say, all right, objective 3.1, I'm done. I don't need to worry about that. I can go ahead and move on to another objective. This is very handy if you're going to be kind of piecemealing your study. Maybe you only have 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there. Uh, you could potentially, you know, check, okay, I did these in the lab. Come back, and you, and you don't have to remember, did I do host networking config and memory config? Oh, yes, I did, because the lab is checked and then you can just start back up CPU and keep going. So it's kind of a way you can offload your brain to a PDF to help you study. And this is really what I used both for the 4, I have a VCAP 4 edition, and the VCAP 5 edition. This is what really assisted me in studying for the exam because there's a ton of stuff you have to know. Additionally, I've got a list of different tools, and these come straight from the blueprint. Uh, they are clickable, so you could go in here and you can click to uh, CLI interface concepts, uh, monitoring and performance guides, etc. Things that you might need in order to accomplish this objective. It's all here. It's all straight from the blueprint. And just the links are there to help you 
you know, quickly navigate to them. Most of them end up being the same. You can see these are the same two guides here for the next objective. Once in a while you get a different one. Here's the resource management guide. So this really should be your one-stop shop for preparing for the exam. And I'll go back to the, the website here. And I've at, at the bottom some more instructions on the study sheet, how it works, as well as some really cool guides out there on the web. So I've got, uh, looks like about six different guides that you can use for studying for the VCAP 5 DCA, including Sean Crookston's uh, older VCAP 4 DCA study guide. So you can really use this page as kind of a landing point to start your studies for the VCAP 5 Data Center Administration exam. Good luck on the exam and hope that uh, you are successful with it and that this sheet can provide some assistance. Thank you for watching this video. If you found the information valuable, make sure to click the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos on my channel, please become a subscriber. For more articles on technical solutions and home lab building, achieving certifications, and so on, head on over to wallnetwork.com. Thank you.